Hi kids, it's Miss Kate. When you were really little, did you have a favorite bedtime story? Lots of people love the story of Goodnight Moon with kittens and mittens and all sorts of soothing good nights. Others might love the little engine that could or where the wild things are. I loved reading the poems of Shel Silverstein and would read the same poems again and again and again. Have you ever noticed how in church school, we also tell the same stories again and again and again? In the fall, you'll hear stories from the Old Testament with Noah and the Israelites in the desert, the stories of leading up to Jesus's birth at Christmas. And in the winter and springtime, we hear the stories of Jesus's life with the disciples, healing and preaching and teaching. Then we'll move on to the stories of his death and the stories of his resurrection. Sometimes I hear kids say, Ugh, I've heard that one before. <laughs> I already know this one. You know, I get it. I get it. It may be true, or at least mostly true. See, the thing is that we do so much living every single day, so much learning, so much loving, and so much growing that, to be fair, you are a new creation more often than you realize. Sometimes the newness is due to feeling a particular way. You might call it sad or mad or happy or even afraid. The way that you're feeling inside will affect how you hear and what you understand from a story. Other times we are a new person because of something we've lived through, happy or sad, that caused us to grow and change. The fact is that the you that read that story before isn't the you that you are today. And every time you hear these stories, you'll be listening with new ears. You'll have had new experiences that might connect with what you're hearing. You'll have learned new things since the last time you heard it. Even more so, the Bible is a living book that gains new life every time you read and connect with its stories. God is doing mysterious things in our lives every day, urging us to bring light and love to other people, showing us ways to better love ourselves, and reminding us that love is meant to be shared. This happens so often through the hearing and telling of Bible stories. When we're expecting to meet God and hear wisdom, God always has something new to tell us, even if you've read that story before. Will you pray with me, friends? Dear God, thank you for always reaching out to us in love, even in ways we don't always understand. Help us to rely on the small moments of understanding, to hear you in the words we've heard before, and to trust in your guidance. We pray all these things in the name of your son, Jesus, and we all say, Amen.